Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the methylation doctor right here in Boca Raton, Florida. And today I want to talk to you about getting your genetic test done and trying to treat yourself with supplements based on your 50 page report. And I, I want to tell you that you shouldn't do that because ultimately what's going to happen is you're going to end up treating the gene and not treating you yourself, the person. And you're going to come in with a Santa Claus bag of supplements and you may feel good for a little bit, but after about a week or so you may start crashing and you may not feel very well after that. So let's talk about the difference between um, treating you, the person, and, and treating your genetic weak links. So, what they have nowadays is these ancestry sites. There's 23andMe, there is Ancestry.com, and there's a couple other ones that will basically take your saliva sample, or some are doing cheek swabs, and then they figure out what your genetic predisposition is for enzymes. In fact, they don't even do that. They advertise as an ancestry site and they tell you if you have any relationships to certain people or what your background is or where your where your family lineage comes from. But but really, after the Human Genome Project, I believe, which was completed in 2003, we learned about these polymorphisms or these genetic weak links in our DNA that code for enzymes. And basically what that means is think of it as two things. We make things and we break things. And so we have to make neurotransmitters so our brain can communicate with other cells in the brain and tell it what to do so that we don't feel depressed, we don't feel unhappy, we don't feel isolated, we don't feel overexcitation, we feel calmness and we don't feel depression. Um, we also need to make natural killer cells in order to fight off infections and produce antibodies to certain toxins in the body. We also have to be able to prepare antioxidants so we can fight off free radical damage. We also have to be able to regenerate DNA every day. We have to be able to regenerate our cells and when we eat food, we got to be able to secrete enough enzymes and, and hydrochloric acid to break that food down and if our enzymes that um, our DNA code for it can't do their job, then you are going to have chronic conditions. And these chronic conditions are typically autoimmunities, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, thyroid problems, not being able to sleep, um, being depressed, having focus and concentration issues, uh, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, and then you go get an ancestry site and you see all of these weak links that you have and then you try to supplement yourself to good health. And if that's you, I want you to tell you to stop right now. Or if that's you and, and you're headed down that road, think about seeing a doctor that can help you in this area and, and put it together a game plan. And so let's talk about that. So what I tell patients is genetics and, and 23andMe and these ancestry sites, they are great at giving you raw data and that raw data can be put into a software program and figuring out what your genetic weak links are. And then from there, you can typically tell and relate that back to your symptoms and say, well, do you have anxiety? Do you have depression? Do you have anxious or um, restfulness? Or do you have gastrointestinal problems? Do you have an autoimmunity? Do you have focus and concentration issues? Do you have um, rashes or histamine intolerances? We can tell a lot about that, but the thing is, is that those are your genes. That's like the hardware of a computer. And the hardware of the computer is written by the software of the computer. So the software of the computer, if it crashes and there's a bug or if there's a virus, then ultimately it's going to crash the hardware. But it's the software of the computer that dictates the hardware. And what that means for you is it's that it's your body that dictates the genes. There's a lot of people that don't have any of these gene problems and they're still tired tired and depressed and fatigued and anxious and can't focus and have fibromyalgia and autoimmunities. Why is that? Because their software is going wrong. That means they may have gut infections or they may have food sensitivities or they may have a lot of inflammation in their body. They could have heavy metal toxicity. They have free radical damage. They have nutritional deficiencies. These genes need nutrients in order for them to work properly. And so I saw a patient the other day and he knew all his stuff about genetic testing. He had been to Dr. Lynch's site. He had seen a lot about um, these videos and he knew most more than most of his doctors knew. But he, the thing was, 
is he was treating his genes. And he came in with a bunch of these supplements and he wasn't feeling good. So what we did is we actually took him off of these supplements and we started from the basics like repairing his gut, stabilizing his blood sugar, making sure he has enough iron, making sure he's absorbing and digesting his foods. Once we did that, then we could start layering cellular energy production, uh, cell membrane function, mitochondrial function, ketogenic diets. There's a lot of things you can do besides just treating the gene. So hopefully you found this very, very valuable. Please, if you have your test and you've seen someone and you still don't feel good, consider coming in to see me and we can give you a whole new game plan that doesn't revolve around just treating your gene. We need to sit down and talk to you and find out how this is relating to your problem. So give my office a call. It's 561-883-0090 and let me help you get your life back in order based on the genetic test that you have in your hand and you don't know where to go. Look forward to helping you. Again, you can check my website. It is at bocahealthcarecenter.com. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, a share, or give me a comment. And that tells YouTube that you liked it and they will let more people see this. So give my office a call. I look forward to helping you further in your methylation problems. Thank you so much.